once you practice the lower energy visualization, then you want to try to perform the cloud hands movement from Tai Chi with the lower energy visualization. So remember, the lower energy visualization, it's also very good to use an external object. So you hold it like this, and that allows you to project a round healing feeling into the lower energy center or two inches below the level and move the mind down and visualize this lower energy center. So I found by holding a round object, it really helps, especially I project it inward and I make it into a healing energy ball. Sometimes people like a, a bigger ball and makes it stronger for them or colors, whatever you want to use. Uh, when we sit in Dana Farber and we meditate, we have a bunch of balls, we sit in the dark and we put the ball like this and everybody is visualizing the lower energy center. But today what we're going to do is the visualization of the lower energy center with cloud hands. So when you want to do cloud hands, you stand in a horse stance, shoulder width apart, you squat down to strengthen the legs and increase bone density. The right hand is like you look in the mirror, elbow sunk. The left is like you pet a big dog, great then. Again, elbow sunk. You turn from the belly button, from the waist. So the saying in Tai Chi is power is generated from the floor, from the legs, directed by the waist, manifest at the fingers. And then as you, and as you turn to your left towards the elbow here, you change, this one goes down and this one comes up. Then turn, one comes up, one goes down. Remember, make sure that you emphasize the down and the up equally. There's a tendency to, to move one more than the other. So you want to have even sensation in both. And then even sensation in both. Also, if you can turn this much to the right and this much to the left, leave about 10% of the turn for the change. So you keep turning and that allows you to change. So you see, I go to here, I can go a little more, but I don't. I stay here and then I use that little piece to change. When you move from left and right, when you move to your left, Make sure the right leg is nice and open and doesn't collapse inward. So the inner arches of your feet are alive. And at the same time, you close your eyes and visualize the lower energy center. See if you can actually move from, with your mind in the center. So you're moving from this energy ball. Inhale as you turn, exhale as you change. And again, you can keep training the fire breath. Or the water breath. At the same time, keep the visualization. Yeah, you can either do 30 repetition or just put the timer for a minute to two minutes and, and just keep continue this. Over time, move lower and lower if your legs get stronger. Of course, you have to keep your, tuck the tailbone in and you can make the movement slower and slower. So you can see this is like meditation in movement. So this complete the yin side of our series of uh, mind over fat, losing weight. And the yin side of the series is very important because that's what strengthens your decision-making center. That's what builds your self-esteem, your confidence. When you build strong leg, when you're able to sit all the meditation we set up and the stretches and the exercises, all that program is designed to make you a stronger person body, mind, and spirit. And that's the trick to losing weight and having a strong mind that can make decisions when the right time comes. Of course, 
a little bit of knowing what you eat, how many calories in it, and on and on is important as well. But we will try to help in the Friday blogs and give some of that information as well. So and